Good morning, mountain bikers. I am Chris Wessels with MTB Trail Review. Today we're bringing you Greer Ranch. Um, we're into the ride a little bit. I just wanted to bring you a different kind of intro today. Show you some of the cool artwork that you're going to see on this trail marking each different section. So we're about to hit Jumping Mouse. This is the jump line. Super fun. Lots of ups and downs you'll see. Uh, today we're riding, or I am riding my enduro bike. Dan's is out of commission from Noble, but he'll get it back soon. This is a place where you can ride a hardtail if it's more of a trail designed, as opposed to cross country designed hardtail. But if you have the full suspension, especially something that's a more of a trail or enduro bike, that's what you want. We've got our knee pads today, half helmet. There are guys out here in full face. There's some pretty big hits out here. So if you're gonna go for those, a full face is not a bad idea. And uh, that's pretty much the need to knows for equipment. This place has a lot of climbing. Come out here ready to climb but you get rewarded with the downhills. They're very fun. Um, so take a look at the trails. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments. I'll be happy to help you out. Let's go have some fun. All right, so we are maybe a quarter to a third of the way into the climb. And what we like to do is start with a little trail over here to our left called Double V. It's one of the shorter climbs, but it's a really great little downhill. And it doesn't take you all the way to the bottom, but pretty close. But it's a great way to just kind of warm up and feel out the flow of Greer. So there it is, we just rolled past it. So we're gonna drop into that right now, do the quick climb, and then hit the downhill. And this climb's not bad, it's a nice little single track, very doable. It is not as dusty as I thought it was gonna be out here. What do you think, Dan? Yeah, the dirt looks like it's in pretty good shape. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be really bad. Take a left to go to double D. And we'll drop in in just a minute here. Yeah, I don't think there's any turns. Okay. 
There, there's a left turn, left hand at the bottom. That's the only one I can think of. Uh, right before the road. Instead of going up, you go left. But that's at the very bottom. All right, double D. Here we go. It's a little soft. Came that way too hot. Morning. Good morning. 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 All right, a little warm up. Now we climb again. Be a lot more cross country. Is. Oh shit. Right. Yeah, I'm good. Whew. Damn, that hurt. I don't even know what happened. So I just ate it on the climb. It's never happened before. <laughs> Hopefully, that was my fall for the day. Uh, when we were talking about how it's not that bad, it looks pretty good. Apparently, not. I just washed out my front end climbing. So be aware of that if you're coming out here soon. But I'm good. We're going to keep climbing. We are dropping into overdrive. Got this turn. There we go. So that turn is nasty. Super washed out, super tight. Just be ready for it. This is a flowier line with some rock gardens, as you can see. It is in pretty decent shape right now. There's one little pedally section right here. It's not that bad though.
I'm gonna put you right back into the fun. So that little line we just hit, normally clear them. Not today though. Man, my legs are burning, dude. Is this new? Yeah, this is new. So I want to look at that one first. That's doable. Whew. Whew. Yeah, this is all new. Yep. I like it. So last time we did overdrive, this whole section wasn't here. This is all new for us. So this back half, I uh, just stopped to look at one of the features. So I'm sure it was on the other side. But it looks doable, so we're gonna hit it. And doable it is. Woo, 
That was fun. I think that's pretty much the end of it. Let's see. What's this say? Oh, cool. Nice. I like the idea. Yeah, so in case you can't see these, these signs, it's that all these trails are built by hand and to, to donate if you like what you see. And I love it. Cool. Which way do we go, do you think? This way? I don't think so. I don't know, though. Yeah, because the... Let's, let's go this way. I mean, that's the way we have to go to get to Jumping Mouse anyways, right? I think this is a climb. Just taking this back up. We want to go to Jumping Mouse, though. So... Yeah, this takes us back up. Let's do battle on that other side. If we want to go to Jumping Mouse. That back half was a really good addition. So that was overdrive. Um, like I was just saying a minute ago, that addition is new. So we usually do overdrive and then go to Jumping Mouse. We're just figuring out where this trail lets us out. So at the bottom we took a left, and perfect, that's where we want to go. So I'm going to speed it up for you for the climbing and paddling. We'll be at jump, Jumping Mouse shortly. We can go this way. Yeah, we'll give you another. We can go this way too. Yeah, because we're going to be a lot slower than you. Okay. Okay. Go Should we walk, okay. the, walk by the horses? Yeah, we'll walk by. Are you sure? Yeah. We don't want to freak them out, so. I've seen some horses before. All right. I think there's a couple more people coming down just in case, so. Okay. All right, have a great day. Uh, I'm not sure they're not part of our group, though. Thank you. All right.
It's alright. Good trail out of Kenta. I just lost it on a couple of the birds. I think my hand boosted my ball. <laughs> I didn't reel into it like I normally do. It's a little slippery out here today. It is. And uh, the braking bumps are a lot more prevalent, I noticed, into the turns. Yeah. Not an excuse, just an observation. Yeah. This isn't really jumping mouse, it's more like roll around mouse, you know? <laughs> so, I was telling Dan earlier, Feeling a little off today, a little sluggish. I don't know what it is. So, I don't know. I'm just maybe that fall got me. Maybe my Friday night ride, I'm so so tired. I don't know. So, I'm still gonna bring you these trails at the best of my ability today. I'll bring them at a better ability a different day. <laughs> you good? Yeah, I'm good. Let's do it. Crash compilation. Don't record the climb. Or record the climb. Let's turn it off. Is that All good? Right, distortion. Let's do it.
I am. Okay, so that was distortion. We're gonna drop right into T and B right here. And uh, this is really fun, technical. There's one split, stay to the left. Ready? I am. Do it. Half new. I am. Whew. Pfft, washed out. Oh, man. That's good. That's good. I feel like the helmet worked. Make sure the bike works. A little bit of rub, no big deal. Okay. Make sure my bars are straight. Just give that lens a dust real quick. All right. We got two crashes today already. I know. Pretty sure I hit my head on the ground, but we'll see. All right, we're good. That was weird. It's felt like the front end's washed out. Same thing happened to me? I'm not sure. I think so. I might just hit a rock. I don't know. So we just came up the fire road, same one we were climbing earlier, and rear really splits into two sets of trails. If you go the way we went earlier, that's a right. That'll take you to distortion, rabbit hole, which we're gonna do later, overdrive, which is the first line we did, and eventually out to jumping mouse. Here, we're gonna go straight. We're gonna ride in these hills over here. And this one has a couple of different enduro lines called the 215 enduro, as well as monk dog, which is what we're gonna hit, so. You do have options if you want to split off right here, and uh, we're not going to be in the climb. It's very self-explanatory. Go up. Uh, you can't really get lost on this one. It'll eventually take you to that radio tower, and that's where all those lines start. So we'll bring it back after we're done climbing. All right, so we just finished the climb. 
Uh, we're right at that radio tower that I was talking about earlier. If you go down this way, you can get into the 215 Enduro. As I said, there are multiple lines. It splits about a third of the way down. Uh, the right line's a little easier, the left line's a little more difficult. We're not gonna get into that right now. We probably won't get into it today. Uh, these will have to do wear you out. We're gonna go left here and drop into Monk Dog. This one's a little flowier, a little steeper, and uh, just all around fun. The one thing I will say today that may hinder us is we notice a lot of the trails are pretty loose. Both of us have washed out multiple times, and we have both gone down because we washed out. So we're going to go a little slower on it, uh, just because we have not ridden it for a while. We're not sure what the conditions are like, and uh, this one does get a little loose. Wow, Twindy. Ready? I am. Let's ride. for the day. That would be pretty sick if I could do that. <laughs> So we're at the top of the main climb, almost. And then we would cross and continue up this way. But for rabbit hole, which we're doing next, instead of finishing out that climb, you can take a right and drop right in. If you want to finish out the climb, there's another quick washed out downhill. Honestly, I'll leave it. So we're going to drop in right here, and rabbit hole actually starts at the top of the next hill where you see all the other riders. So let's drop in. And we'll go to for a break.
this rabbit hole. Uh, it starts out fast, kind of gnarly, and then after some of the gnarliness, we're gonna cross a road, and then it just kind of turns into what the guy who showed it to me aptly named the bobsled, where it's just fast flow up and down, semi-technical, super fast, super fun. The bad thing about rabbit holes, you have to climb out. So, we're tired. We're gonna drop in. Um, kind of the theme of the day, it's been loose, so we're not gonna go full bore. We haven't been out here for a while. We'll take it kind of like three quarter speed, but you'll still get a good sense of what the shell is like. Check the battery. Mm -hmm. Level hole, here we go. I guess I have three quarter speed probably. There's some fun jumps at the beginning. We'll see how washed out they are right now. That's all that, man. Good luck on that.
Right to those ruts. You alright? Yeah. Ooh. I hit everything way better that time, but I almost lost it on those ruts. Oh man, it's getting rough, dude. Okay. My thumb's on fire. Okay. Cool. Let's get out of here then. Alright. Woo! It's painful. <clears throat> do it! Man, we can do that. No, we can't, man. Much longer. You need a minute, you good? I'm good. Let's do it. Let's do it.
Go ahead and stop and start again. Alright, so I'm going to give you my final thoughts on Rear Ranch. Number one, if you haven't ridden it, you should. It's so much fun. In fact, I'm going to give it a, a fun factor of a 9 out of 10 if you are in shape. If you're not in shape, drop that down to maybe a 5 or a 6 because it is a lot of climbing. Which leads me to the cardio factor. For the cardio factor, it's up there. I'm going to I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 as well. We did 19 miles today with just under 2,700 feet climbing, I believe. And I'm feeling it. My legs hurt. Um, partly because of that climbing, partly because I crashed. I have a good bruise on my hip. So, yeah, I'm in pain, but it's a good pain. And then for a technical factor, uh, it does have some rock gardens. It kind of depends on the trails you choose. Overall, probably a 7 out of 10. And, yeah, I think that's all my factors. So if you haven't ridden it, go ride it. It's very fun. Make sure you come prepared. Bring enough water. There's a lot of exposure. Make sure that you have the right bike and that you ride within your limits. As you saw in the video today, there's a lot of stuff that Dan and I did not hit. There's a lot of really big hits, and there's some stuff that we're just not comfortable with. So when it's there, uh, you know, it, it all has go-arounds, but when it's there and, and you're just not feeling it, don't do it. The hospital is across the street, though, if you do. So that's convenient. So as always, check out my Strava for more information. I'm Chris Wessels with MTB Trail Review. Don't forget to subscribe and check out more videos. See you guys next time.